Tutankhamun, or King Tut as he is popularly known, was a young pharaoh who ruled ancient Egypt for about a decade in the 14th century BC. He is famous not for his achievements or deeds, but for his tomb, which was discovered in 1922 by a British archaeologist named Howard Carter. The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb was one of the greatest archaeological events of the 20th century, and it revealed a wealth of information about the culture, religion, art, and history of ancient Egypt. The tomb of Tutankhamun was located in the Valley of the Kings, a desert valley where many pharaohs and nobles were buried during the New Kingdom period, 1550-1069 BC. The valley was a target for grave robbers, who plundered most of the tombs and stole their precious contents. However, Tutankhamun's tomb was hidden by debris and remained largely intact for over 3,000 years. It was only by chance that Carter and his team stumbled upon it while searching for another tomb. When Carter made a small hole in the sealed doorway of the tomb and peered inside with a candle, he saw a dazzling sight, a chamber filled with golden objects, statues, furniture, chariots, weapons, and other items that belonged to the young king. He famously exclaimed, yes, wonderful things, when his patron, Lord Carnarvon, asked him what he saw. Carter and Carnarvon entered the tomb and explored its four chambers, the antechamber, the annex, the burial chamber, and the treasury. They were amazed by the quantity and quality of the artifacts, which reflected the splendor and sophistication of ancient Egyptian civilization. The most important and sacred part of the tomb was the burial chamber, where Tutankhamun's mummy lay inside a nested set of three coffins. The innermost coffin was made of solid gold and weighed over 110 kilograms. It was adorned with precious stones and had a portrait mask of the king's face. Inside the coffin, Tutankhamun's body was wrapped in linen bandages and covered with jewelry, amulets, and other objects. Carter carefully removed these items and unwrapped the mummy, which was in a poor condition due to hasty embalming and damage from robbers. The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb caused a sensation around the world. The media reported every detail of the excavation and published photographs of the stunning treasures. Millions of people visited exhibitions of the artifacts in various countries. The tomb also sparked a renewed interest in ancient Egypt and inspired many books, movies, games, and fashion trends. Some people even believe that there was a curse on the tomb that caused misfortune or death to those who disturbed it. This idea was fueled by the mysterious death of Lord Carnarvon shortly after entering the tomb, as well as other incidents involving people connected to the discovery. The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb also had an impact on Egyptology, the scientific study of ancient Egypt. It provided valuable information about the life and death of Tutankhamun, who was previously obscure in history. It also revealed details about his family, his religion, his politics, his health, and his culture. The tomb demonstrated what a complete royal burial looked like and what kind of objects were used for funerary rituals. The tomb also showed evidence of ancient looting and vandalism, as well as modern conservation challenges. Tutankhamun's tomb remains one of the most fascinating and significant archaeological discoveries ever made. It opened a window into a distant past that still captivates us today. It also raised many questions that are still being investigated by researchers. Above all, it is a testament to the enduring legacy of ancient Egypt and its remarkable pharaohs.